Our next guest is an incredibly talented drummer and percussionist who has performed with some huge, I'm talking huge names. She recently performed virtually on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and she's from Louisville. I'm happy to welcome Danny Markham to the show. Danny, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, you and Kelsey Lee, who is, of course, a part of the WHAS family, were part of a virtual performance on the show. Could you tell me a little bit about how all of that came about? Yeah, so it was it was a unique, unique process because um, typically when you go on Colbert, you go to the show and you have a production team and the production team will do the recording and the video. Um, but since we're in the times of COVID, we, um, we were asked to, to do the performance and then we had to produce it uh, from our end. So that means recording the audio and the video um, and then you know preparing the parts as well so did you just get like tracks sent to you basically and so you're playing along with it so um z sean b um he's from new york he um he had already put out his song brown power which is an incredible song um i'm sure that you've listened to it it's it's wonderful so he sent us the tracks that he already had and then he wanted more or less like an acoustic version so we um we just kind of i guess like deconstructed the parts and then rebuilt them with the instrumentation that we felt would be appropriate and that we could play together um intertwining the parts that's so cool and like yeah i love the song and the video and it's so much fun and like seeing you and kelsey like rocking out that was one of my favorite parts for sure i'm like yeah both of you just having a blast it was fun i mean kelsey and i go way back we were in the louisville leopard percussionist um group together and so to be able to to collaborate in this way for something that is so meaningful and necessary right now um was really special for sure Okay, and now, so this blew me away when I saw this. And you not only toured with Childish Gambino, but you also got to perform on him with Sa on Saturday Night Live. Is that right? Yes, it was so fun. I love Saturday Night Live. So had you performed on the show before? That was my first time on SNL. Um, now, it, what is that like being there? I mean, it's like such a, like, you know, I mean, that's like uh, the epitome of so much, it's so much thing, like TV, everything. Yeah, it was really special. I had been on a couple late night shows um, prior to that, which um, it's always a fun experience, but SNL was special. You could tell that the people that, you know, worked there were really happy to be at their jobs. Um, they're working with great content all the time, so that makes sense. And, and a lot of people had been around from the very beginning. Um, so it, it was awesome. And, and we got to see the skits happen um, behind the scenes and, and the, the vibe at SNL is just, it's awesome. It's such a great experience. That's so cool. Okay, so you toured with Childish Gambino, right? Yes. Okay, what, I mean, you had to have been playing in front of the most huge crowds. Like, how exciting was that? It was awesome. Um, I think that that was my first arena tour. Um, well, I, when I played with Soon Yard, we opened for Arcade Fire, and we played a few arena shows. But this was the first time I was a part of a full production, um, and it was amazing. I mean, thousands of people, like, together, sweating, singing the music. You can feel them. You can see them. It's amazing. It's an, an incredible opportunity. I can imagine, too, at you playing percussion, too. You you feed off everyone else's energy, too. And, I mean, you must, like, it just would make me go crazy. I could just imagine playing along with it. Yeah, it was great. I mean, Donald is an amazing leader, and I love his music, and the band is incredible. We're very close. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you get up on stage, and you feel like you're just, like, you know, having fun, having conversation with your friends, with your best buddies. That's awesome. And now you mentioned the Louisville Leopards. Like, how did you get your start in music? Was it with, through the Louisville Leopards? Yes. So I went to Martin Luther King Elementary School, um, and Diane Downs started the program. Uh, just like kind of, she would do like 20 minutes in class. And then when we got really excited and we wanted more, she built an after school program. Um, and yeah, she was just my second grade teacher, and, and we loved it. And she was, great at getting us excited about music. Um, and I think she saw that the kids needed that. They need 
the arts and and something to create passion and excitement and community. That's awesome. And what advice would you give to anyone who has like a musical dream of their own, especially for younger people? Um, well, I experienced a lot of um, questioning when I was growing up, like, oh, well, you're going to do music, but what else are you going to do when that doesn't work out? And um, thankfully, my parents and my close uh, mentors and leaders around me didn't have that same perspective. But I would say a lot of friends, friends, parents or friends, parents would just kind of question my choice and my career path. And I would say, if you love something, do it because you'll enjoy it for the rest of your life and you know what you're good at, continue it, work hard. And if you work hard, you can be successful in anything. That's the hope. That's great. And if people want to keep up with all your musical adventures, where's the best place to follow you? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Danny Markham. Awesome, Danny. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you, Joanne. I appreciate it.